Hi there guys, happy Wednesday. My name is Shodi Wright with Wright Services AC and Heating. I am one of the owners and technicians here. I just wanted to go over the different forms of filtering that you may find in your house and what makes one necessarily better than the other. People are probably most used to are gonna be uh, what we call a frag. This is a filter return air grill. And so you'll probably find these in hallways and ceilings. And uh, this is uh, obviously applications where we would be changing the filter down inside of the house. So this is a, a decent form of filtering, uh, but what really the, the best situation is, is when we are filtering directly at the equipment, which is just like this guy here. So if you have a unit that's standing in a closet, um, uh, hopefully they put in a filter rack. And so it's very convenient to slip open the door and then pull your guy out and then put the other one back in. As you can see, this is be our a traditional one inch filter. The downfall of this one is that because it's only one inches, it doesn't have quite as much surface area as say a two inch filter or a media filter does. So they, these kind of tend to be uh, considered more of a 30 day filter that you don't necessarily get as much lifespan out of them. But but they are still very convenient and still get, get the job done, but you just have to tend to them a little bit more frequently. Yeah next one, which is how I'm currently filtering on my own home, we have our two inch filter. And so as you can see here, we got more depth, which means more surface area. So these filters tend to last a little bit longer. I can squeeze about 90 days out of my filter without feeling bad about it. And it's uh, usually, uh, these are gonna be housed in a very similar application this, uh, in a two inch filter rack. Uh, most of them, it's gonna be one of two things. They're either gonna have the little tension bar, which will accommodate either a one or two inch filter, or it's gonna be just like this other one that, that I was just at, where it's gonna have a little shelf off to the side where you can easily side them out to accommodate a two inch filter. My favorite, and I think probably the best out on the market are gonna be uh, what we call a media filter. So this brand in particular is called the April Air. So what's really cool about these, they're gonna be about a four, four to five inch filter. And as you can see, we got a ton of surface area. So these guys last nothing less than six months. Realistically, you should be able to squeeze a year depending on location and use and then the kind of just what the uh, environment of the house is. But what's great about these is that when you open them and slide them in, they go on the locking track. And what's great about that is that it creates a seal on the sides so next to nothing gets around this filter. So as you can see, so we got sealed on a probably a good 60%. And as you can see, they're a little bit large, so that way it seals in the front and back as well. And then you just snap your cover back in place. Now, April airs are generally a standard um, on all of our new replacements uh, because it is the best. And because we want to be the best, we provide the best. Like I said, these, these guys last uh, every bit of six months uh, up to a year, depending on use. But uh, in my 22 years, this has been the, uh, the one that I've been most, most impressed with. In so one of the other um, things that's really important to keep in mind when it comes to filtering is that anything that gets past your filter does ultimately end up in your drain. So the better you're filtering your equipment, the cleaner your drain stays and the less likely you are of ha ever having a water issue or your system shutting down uh, when you need it the most. So always keep that in mind. Uh, the, the higher the MERV rating, the, the better. Most uh, MERV ratings are about a MERV 8. Uh, that's gonna be kind of your standard. You'll find that at like a, a HEB Home Depot. And this here probably gonna be more like a MERV 8. As you can see, it's just a little bit thinner. So if you can. Obviously the more light means the more that gets through it. See, it's a little little bit denser. But uh, it's a, usually there, the MERV rating, uh, it's a, when you purchase it, should be kind of front and center. But anything less than a MERV 8, uh, I would lean, lean away from it. You're not protecting your equipment and you're certainly not protecting your dream. My recommendation should be MERV 11 and higher is gonna be what really is gonna catch the most. When you start getting into MERV 13, that's when you, uh, it actually, they tend to be carbon filters, which actually do clean the air. Uh, but, but MERV 11 and higher is really what's recommended. Anyways, I hope you guys found this uh, useful and uh, we'll see you next time.